Hi boys and girls, welcome back for another art project. Today we are going to be focusing on Heather Galler. She is a folk artist and we are going to use three different elements of art and that is lines, shape, and now for our materials to create our masterpiece, we're going to need a white piece of paper. I'm going to show you if you do not have paint, you can use washable markers or the regular Crayola markers and we can convert that into paint. We're also going to need a box of crayons, water, a pencil, and a brush. If you have watercolors, you don't need the markers. You can just go using the watercolors and the crayons and that's fine. If you don't have any of these materials, use only the materials that you have available at home. If you have color pencils, crayons, just pencil, just use whatever materials you have available to create this masterpiece. I'm going to show you two different types of way to create the vase. First, I'm going to show you the one that I drew on the left. And I'm using a scrap paper first. So all you're doing is creating a straight line and then two diagonal lines, the same size on both sides, and then a big, huge curve line going around. Now I'm going to do this little bottom part. It's just a diagonal line, a straight line, and another diagonal line. Now that's how you do the one I did on the left. Now for my second drawing, I'm going to show you an easier way in creating a simple vase. I'm going to use a black crayon. Make sure your vase is in the center, not too high up because you want room for the flowers and not all the way in the bottom because you want room on your table. So first, to create a simpler vase is just to create a straight line across and then a diagonal line going down on both sides and then a final curved line touching each side. And that's it. I'm going to do a checkerboard inside the base. So all you're doing is two straight diagonal lines and then curved lines going horizontal. Now for the table, you're going to create a line touching from the side. You can use your finger to make sure you don't go on top of your vase, but behind your vase. Now for the flowers. Make sure your flower is not touching right on the bottom of the vase just yet. You're going to go a little bit on the top. So making sure you have room for your flower. We're going to start with a circle and then another circle. And then we're going to do some curved lines going across. In Heather Galler's artwork, she uses a lot of shape on top of shape, on top of line, on top of shape. So you're going to see different types of shapes, lines, patterns.
Now that we're done drawing our flowers using lines and shapes, now we're going to add a little bit of color. But we're not going to color in. We're going to add more shapes and more lines. Now that we're done using the crayons, we're going to use the markers and all you're doing is drawing lines inside. And then you grab a little bit of water and then you go right on top of the marker and see, we got some green paint. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other leaves, just drawing lines, do not color anything in. You do not need a lot of water. Look how I just go in every single circle and I haven't put my brush inside the water just yet. You just need a little bit goes a long way. And if you add too much water, it might spread on the sides of the paper. And also the color is much more lighter when you add more water. If you add a little bit of water, the color is much more vibrant.
So Heather Galler does a lot of colorful artwork, but she always leaves her vase a checkerboard style. You can do a checkerboard style if you want, or you can add color like I did on the left side. So for a checkerboard is one black, one white, one black, and making sure they're not touching any sides of the shape. You're only touching corners. And all I'm doing, I'm coloring it in with a black crayon. 